I went to meet him in his, in his home, you know, on Fifth Avenue overlooking uh, the zoo. And uh, you get off this elevator into a private, I mean, he had the whole floor, you know, so you, you, you come off into this entryway and the first thing you see is this extraordinary six foot tall Picasso from his blue period, a boy and a pony. It's a famous, famous painting, you know. What? And, and some woman in old uniform came out and said, oh, you know, took me in. And there he stood, you know, this wonderfully handsome guy in a dark suit and a white shirt and a red tie. And he apologized for meeting at home, but he said, I just recently had surgery and, you know, I'm recuperating. And he shows me one of those clickers, you know, and he said, every 20 minutes or so, I got a call for the nurse, you know, and she, you know, she'll do some stuff here and you go look at the art. Okay. So we go into a sitting room there and we sit down and he says, uh, he says, you know, he says, that law show of yours, he says, that's a great show. I said, well, thank you. He says, uh, tell me about yourself. So I, I said, I grew up on the other side of the park on West 83rd Street. You know, I went here, I went there to school, blah, blah, blah. I went to Carnegie Tech, I went to Universal for 12 years, I went to MTM, I did Hill Street Blues, I went to 20th Century Fox. I mean, 60 seconds. He says, he says, that law show here, that's a great show. He says, that's the kind of show I'd really like on my network. I said, oh, well, thanks. He says, uh, tell me about yourself. I thought, oh my God. You know, he's gone. And I spent two hours with William Paley, and it was like it was like steering a bus, just to keep him sort of pointed. He would sort of veer off, and he'd double back, and he'd forget. But when it came to CBS, he was just a maniac about it, you know. And uh, Around noon, he says to me, he says, can you come back after lunch and meet with Mr. Tish? And B Bill Paley was very formal, so everybody was Mr. Tish and Mr. Klopman and Mr. This one and Mr. That one. I said, sure, that's what I'm here for. So I go back after lunch, I go back into the same room. Hello, Larry Tish, I get introduced to Larry Tish, and we sit down at the same little table where we'd sat earlier in the morning. And I'm sitting closer to Bill Paley than I'm sitting to you. And Larry Tish is right over here. And inexplicably, Larry Tish talks to William Paley like this. Bill! Bill, did you call? I, he's shrieking at William Paley. So I think to myself, I spent the morning with this guy. And, you know, he's sort of a little sideways, but he's not deaf. <laughs> you know, why, why is Larry Tish yelling at him? So, this goes on for maybe three minutes. And, and Larry Tish then says to him, can we have dinner tonight? As if William Paley is deaf and canny. I said, well, yes, of course. I'll call your hotel. And he, phew, it's gone. <laughs> He's out of there. You know? And I spent another hour or so with, with Mr. Paley. And then I had dinner with, with Tish that night, which was interesting. Uh, and and I was, you know, I was tempted because I've always had that fantasy of running a network. And, uh, and it, you know, even though the environment, the network environment is so vastly different today than it was then, I could still do a better job than anybody. And that's the truth. You heard it here first.